The power of bid optimization. This will be our last video before we start talking about how to weave the previous videos talk about research peel stick and block and graduating search terms and determining what to bid on. And in this video, I want to talk about the theory of how to bid on things. So in general, what's a good starting bid and budget? Ideally, we'll want to aim for at least a thousand clicks a month in any campaign. That's about 33 a day. And we just didn't just pull this number arbitrarily. The reason is because about 5 to 15% conversion rate, which is about the average, at least on sponsored products, would equate to about 50 to 150 conversions or orders a month. So let's talk about bidding. And just to just to recap that really quick, um, that ends up being about $33 a day if the average cost per click is about a dollar. So if you're in an industry uh, with more expensive cost per clicks, you're going to want to modify this. So in terms of bidding, you know this is pay per click bidding on Amazon. Uh, most campaigns on Amazon are going to be pay per click, meaning we only pay when somebody clicks on it. And our bid determines where we show up, how we show up, uh, and whether or not our competitors are appearing above or below us. So here's what I mean. Let's take a keyword uh, inside an ad group, and the question becomes, you know, what should you really pay? And most people don't necessarily have a strong formula to follow when they go into bidding. Um, you know, and the goal of this video is to help you understand the thesis behind bidding. And you can see here, this happens a lot. We've got keyword bids of 75 cents down the line. Uh, and then we've got all different kinds of spend, all different kinds of performance. And you know, the A cost for some of these is varying from 95 to 88 to 77 to 14. And really the, the core theme behind bid optimization is you want to bid more aggressively on things that convert more, and you want to bid less on things that convert less. That's pretty much it. So your strong performers, you want to bid more aggressively. Your weak performers, you want to bid very weak. So if you take a situation like this, you know, this is a 109% ACoS. Now, you could pause this and you'd, you know, stop spending on money on this keyword and you would save $48 at 109% ACoS. However, you'd also be missing out on $43 of revenue. So the question then becomes, well, how do you fix this? You know, I'm paying 109% ACoS. So let's talk about that. Bids can really change the world for a keyword. And I wanna look at just a couple things here. Let's take clicks, meaning how many clicks we're getting. Let's take cost per click, CPC. That meaning how much we're paying per click. Let's take revenue, how much revenue it generates how much ad cost we're spending, so the costs, um, that's the CPC multiplied by clicks, how much we're paying per click, and then the sum of all that, and then the ACOS, the ad cost of sales, ad cost over sales as well. And then of course, a target. We should all have targets. So let's take clicks at 100. And here we've got clicks at 100, and let's say we're paying $1.25. So 100, Clicks at $1.25 ends up being $125 of costs. Now, how much revenue did we generate in this hypothetical example? Well, we generated $450 at a 28% ACoS. Now, let's say our target ACoS was only 17%. That would make it off target. So we're spending too much. And essentially what the terminology that we should be saying is we spent too much to get these sales. We paid too much per click to generate this revenue. Not that this keyword doesn't convert at all. You know, it did generate $450, but it just did it too expensively. That's how we really want to think about this. We don't want to necessarily pause this. We want to optimize it. So we go in, we crunch the numbers. And this is not exactly how Bizby Badger operates, but it is the core thesis behind Bizby Badger's algorithm. So if you're going to be optimizing your bids uh, using Bids by Badger's manual mode, or you're obviously going to turn on the algorithm, which we'll get to later, this is a core thesis of understanding where a bid is calculated and where it comes from. So it's generally the revenue per click multiplied by the target ACoS. And what does that actually mean? Well, revenue per click is simply how much revenue divided by the number of clicks. 
That's basically it. So that's how much ge revenue a keyword generates. And that's how much you could expect the next click to generate. And then of course, if you generate $10 revenue per click and you have a 50% target A cost, well then 10 multiplied by 50% would be $5, which means every time you get a click, you would generate $10 of revenue on average. And you would pay about 50% of that, meaning $5, and you'd eventually land at a 50% A cost. In this example, that's where you'd want to appear. The question becomes, uh, data changes every single click. And that's what Ad Badger factors in. Every single day, Ad Badger will go in and evaluate your revenue per click. And if your revenue per click goes up, we'll increase your bids, get more aggressive, box out some competitors. If it gets a little bit lower, we will lower the bid so that we can focus on profitability. So you, there's no column inside Amazon for revenue per click, but there is inside Ad Badger. So in Ad Badger, when you modify the columns, you can actually see your revenue per click. We put it right inside the tool. Now, revenue per click in this case, and I you know, kept it inside Amazon for now. We're going to get to Ad Badger in uh, the next video. But really, what we're looking at here is you know, we spent 375 generated. Uh, I'm sorry, we generated our, uh, 375 revenue from 165 clicks. That's 227 revenue per click. So if the A cost is too high, if we want to lower the bid, we'll pay less. The keyword should have the same conversion rate, whether you're paying a dollar or 50 cents, it should have the same revenue per click. Fewer clicks, but profitable one. That's the key here. So if you see something with 100% A cost, you can work that down to, to 75, and then you work that down to 50, and then you work that down to uh, you know 30, and you do that slowly, and you're gonna get less clicks and less sales, but they will land profitably. So often I see people with an A cost of 100%, and then they lower the bid, you know, it's not going to take a day to bring that back down to a 50% then a 30%. It's going to take some time because you need new clicks to roll in and it's going to take time for that to convert. Especially it's going to take longer now because you're paying less. So that's something to think about here. Now in that same example of 100 clicks, 125 CPC at a 28% A cost, we only want to spend 17. If the next clicks came through at a lower cost per click on this right side. If we lower the bid from 125 to 76, what happens? Well, now all of a sudden to get the same 100 clicks, it only costs us 76 bucks. So we generate the same amount of revenue because it's the same keyword, same product, except now we got our clicks for much cheaper and our target A cost is now 17% because we only spent 76 bucks to get the same 450. Now, which one's gonna take longer? Well, obviously, the one on the right, it's going to take longer to get these clicks. You know, maybe on the left, you got 100 clicks in a week. Maybe on the right, paying less, it's going to take you two or three weeks to get this. But the same keyword, you should generate the same amount of revenue or from the same amount of clicks. Um, so this is the core thesis behind Ad Badger. Now, keep in mind, though, over those three weeks, for the right side to level out at 17%, what happens to your A cost in the meanwhile? Well, it's going to be at 28%, and then maybe you're going to get 10 more clicks, and it's still going to be at you know, maybe it jumps up to 30%. And then you finally get that conversion. Now it drops to 25%. And then you get a few more clicks, and it creeps back up to maybe 29, 30%. And you get another order, and it drops down a bit more. So it's this sort of oscillating sine wave up and down until eventually it trends down, and you do eventually get those clicks because it's the same keyword. So the basics of bidding with Ad Badger is you don't have to wonder about your bids again. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how Ad Badger handles that. Uh, so you can turn it on and not have to worry about calculations and formulas because Ad Badger has two modes. We've got a automatic mode, uh, automated mode that you can just turn on and let the algorithm get to work, which factors in whole, all kinds of things. And it's also got a manual mode. So if you want to the manual control, we'll talk about how to do that too. And let's jump in to the next video and jump inside Ad Badger.